Uh, Jeremiah, he, he asked, do you guys see West switching to a 3-4 odd defense or meant 4-2-5 and 3-3 defense this year? I, it wouldn't surprise me. Um, yeah, look. I think it, it, it really just depends on um, how many of these fre- – I think you're going to need a, a couple of freshmen to, to step in. And yeah. um, if they show out, uh, maybe there isn't much of a, a change schematically. But right. uh, um, we, we've talked about this a little bit before. I, West, you know, just from knowing his background, I, I think exactly. he's he's a little more yep. comfortable in the in those kind of odd front defenses. It, it, it seemed like he's more com- uh, comfortable calling those defenses. Uh, you kind of saw it at the end of the year when Clemson did it a little bit more, um, and they they had some success there. And so I, right. I, I could totally see it happening, but uh, I, totally I think it all it. just depends on, then- on what what they what they. Uh, what they get out of the guys in spring practice. Yeah. That and the other thing is like he, he grew up um, following Brent Venables and Brent Venables was always the type of defensive coordinator and just the type of coordinator in general that would play to the strengths of his personnel. So that's one of the things that I liked about Wes Goodwin last year is that I thought that he made adjustments well, both in game and both game to game. I Especially West, at the end of the year. First, yeah. beginning of the year was kind of rough. Yeah, kind of yeah. rough. But, like, towards the end of the year, Wes Goodwin, Wes Goodwin proved to be a coach that could make in-game adjustments along with game-to-game adjustments based off of personnel and the team that you were playing. So I look for him to continue to play to those strengths. So if he if he's called to by either the team we're playing or the personnel that we currently have – to switch to an odd front, I fully expect him to do so. And if not, I think he will put our defense in the best possible position uh, to be successful. One, because, well, he's a super smart defensive coordinator. And two, because he's seen it with, uh, you know, Brent Venables and and stuff like that. So I I think we're in a good position when it comes to that sort of stuff, Uh, which is why I was way more encouraged with our defense last year than I was our offense. Although we have made it clear that our defense underperformed last year. Yeah. 100% underperformed. But they showed the ability to, I think, improve. So, um, 